here's the generator. You can wind the handle this way. It does have a clutch the other way, so if you get it spinning fast and it bashes your hand, all the energy in the disc isn't transferred to your hand. You can see the magnets behind the coils as they turn round, and the faster they go, the higher the voltage they'll induce in the coils. So now we want to do something with electricity this is going to generate. So we can wire it into the rectifier box. Um, there's two separate coils um, on the back of the generator um, and there are four inputs on the rectifier box so it doesn't actually matter which is plugged into which because it's just going into a double um, bridge rectifier um, and those go into here and on top of this The, it are some meters and as we turn the generator we start to generate a voltage but currently there's no, basically no current if we plug a load into the output of the rectifier and we clamp the generator to the table just with some woodworking clamps And we can generate some electricity and light a light. So if I've got no lights turned on, it's really easy to turn the handle. And there's no current being drawn. As we turn one on, it gets noticeably harder to turn the handle. So I can draw some current. Turn on the second one. It gets still harder. And we should be drawing more current up to three or three amps or so. Four and a half, six odd, apparently I'm generating, oh, 10, 12 watts, and with all five on, it's getting really quite hard work. We have other loads, instead of using incandescent bulbs, we can use LED bulbs. which is much, much easier. You can really feel the difference in efficiency, especially if you're slightly undervolting them, like we are here. Even running really fast, that was only drawing an amp and a half, and it's so much easier to use. Um, if you really want to work out, you can try the hairdryer. If you switch it on to cool, ah, you can feel that you're doing some work, but it's not too bad. If you put it into heat mode, you've got to work incredibly hard, and you just start to feel some heat, which shows just how much energy there is locked up in heat. And one other device we've got here is an electric drill. Um, now the more work the electric drill's got to do, the harder it is to turn. If you put it in a lower gear, it gets a bit easier to turn and you get some more torque out of the electric drill. Um, Try and stall. If you try and stall the drill, it gets harder to turn as well. And of course, you can play games like having the most bizarre hand drill 